Okay, let's determine the absolute configurations in these car molecules. So this molecule has one car center and we'll add the hydrogen first. So hydrogen has to be dashed line here, pointing away from us, and then we'll assign the priorities uh, around the chyle center. So here's the chyle center, and the priorities are going to go this way. Nitrogen will get number one because of the atomic number, number two, and number three, because here we have a carbon connected with another carbon. Here this is just CH3. And the arrow in this case is going clockwise and 4 is pointing away from us and so this will be R. Next one we have one chiral center here and we'll assign the configurator the priorities. So here's the carbon double bonded to another carbon and that's counted as two carbons connected to it. That's why this will be number one, number two and number three metal with the three hydrogens and of course H is pointing away from us. So dash line H and the arrow is going again clockwise. So this will be R. And the second one, so this is the chiral center. And we are comparing three carbons. So again, the hydrogen here, this time the hydrogen is a wedge, it's pointing towards us. And the three carbons, so here is a carbon connected to bromine, here is a carbon connected to nitrogen, here is a carbon connected to two carbons. So the one connected to the bromine gets the first priority. So this is number one, two, here we have three, and it is going counterclockwise. However, because of the hydrogen pointing towards us, it changes to R. So this is R again. On the next molecule we have the chyle center. PR gets number one. Here this is a carbon connected to three carbons because two here, so double bond we count it as two, one on the bottom. Here's a carbon connected to only one carbon and two hydrogens, so this is number two. Number three, H pointing away, and the arrow is going from one to two, counterclockwise. And in this case, we have S 